Right now, we're joined by Mallory and Arlo. Uh, Mallory, thank you for coming and bringing your baby and sharing your story with us today. Thank you for having me here. I'm really excited to be here sharing my story. Um, like a lot of people in the United States, I'm someone who's had an abortion, um, but that's not my only identity. I am a mother, I am a wife, I am an aunt, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a homeowner, I'm a dog owner. Um, and having my abortion is just one more layer to the story that's me. So I love sharing my story, connecting with people who um, might share some of those identities with me and might um, see something in my story that reflects their story as well. Um, I had a story, or an abortion, um, two weeks after I got married for the first time. Mm -hmm. It was four years ago. Um, I was in an abusive relationship and went ahead and got married even though I knew it wasn't the best thing because it seemed like that was the easiest path forward. Um, and a couple of weeks after my wedding, I noticed that I was tired and kind of groggy and all of a sudden I had boobs for the first time ever. <laughs> um, and I started Googling my symptoms and it kept taking me to pregnancy blogs. And I was like, that's not right. I thought something was wrong with my phone. So I tried on my computer and once again, um, all of my symptoms said pregnant. Um, I'd been using hormonal birth control for 10 years when I had my abortion um, and had absolutely no plans to get pregnant. Um, and I was a reproductive rights advocate at the time. I was on the board of NARAL Pro-Choice Ohio. I was an escort at the local abortion clinic. Um, so as soon as I saw the test, I knew that I needed to have an abortion because A, I didn't want to be a parent at that point in my life, and B, I didn't want to be a parent with the person I was with. Um, so I decided to have an abortion, and I tell people that I had the best abortion possible. I was unbelievably lucky and privileged enough to live really close to one of the best abortion clinics in the country. Since I was an escort there, I knew the phone number. I didn't even have to Google it. Um, I didn't have to worry about paying for my abortion because I had a job that gave me health insurance that covered it. I didn't have to worry about taking time off of work because I had paid time off. Um, and most importantly, I didn't have to worry about telling my friends or family that I was having an abortion because all of my friends and family members knew what I did and they supported my work of busting abortion stigma. So um, I was about nine weeks along when I had my abortion. Um, it was a perfectly normal day at the clinic. It was a Saturday. When I pulled in, um, the protesters didn't even give me a hard time because they recognized my car. Um, so from the minute I walked through the door, my experience was great. It was quick. It was painless. Um, I remember I was so very, very sick um, during the beginning of my pregnancy. And as soon as the abortion was over, as the hormones started to leave my body, I remember feeling better for the first time and actually feeling hungry. Um, so I tell people that the best part of that day was driving through rallies on the way home and getting a cheeseburger because I hadn't been able to eat for several weeks before that. Um, so after my abortion, I went home, I relaxed, I watched Netflix, I went back to work the following Monday and everything was great. Um, my marriage did fall apart after that. Um, and having had that abortion gave me the ability to leave my marriage without having to worry about you know, sharing custody of a child and um, the added trouble that that would have been leaving my marriage. Since then, I've been able to go back to school, got a job doing what I love. Um, I work for um, a lot of nonprofit organizations doing abortion rights work now, so I love it. I've been remarried, um, bought a house, have dogs, have a wonderful child. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's you. Um, and I know that none of this would be possible if I hadn't decided to have that abortion several years yeah. ago. Every day I look at him and I'm so thankful for the path that my life took so I could have a child when I did with the person I had him with and with the resources I have available to me now. Yeah. Congrats. That's an amazing abortion story. And I love yeah. that you frame it as it was the ideal abortion. You had support. You had resources, you had yeah. the capability, and you felt really fulfilled. I did. I live in a state where not everyone has that experience. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I talk about that. I live in Ohio, where politicians have been passing abortion restriction after abortion restriction for several years now. Uh, the number of clinics available in Ohio has dropped almost by half since 2011. Um, and for the vast majority of people, they don't live near an abortion clinic. They don't have the money to pay for the abortion they need. Yeah. They don't have health insurance that covers it. Um, and because we don't offer education about abortion in schools, they don't know where to turn. Yeah. They just turn to the internet and sometimes you can't trust the information you find there. So I think everyone needs to have the abortion experience I had. That's what we yeah. should strive to provide for everyone um, in every state. You know, your abortion access shouldn't be dependent on your zip code. Yeah. 
And when you think about what uh, Jane Doe has had to go through uh, and all the Jane Poe's and Jane Moe's yeah. after her, what do you feel about that? It's so heartbreaking because I've been in that position where you're pregnant and you just know you don't want to be pregnant anymore. Um, and I've also been in the position where I've been pregnant and I wanted to be pregnant. And those are two very, very different feelings and two very different points in your life. Um, and my heart breaks when I think about these young people who, who can't exercise their rights because someone is telling them no. Yeah. Um, I hope that they don't feel alone. I hope that they know that there are so many of us out there who share their experience wanting an abortion and are rooting for them and thinking about them every day. Um, and I hope that that they find justice and that when they do, um, we can continue carrying their justice forward to share it with other people. Well, thank you so much for coming and bringing Arlo <laughs> and fighting for justice. And I hope everyone has the abortion you have. So do I. Thank you.